So I'm going to show you how to create a sound report and then transfer that to your computer and show you how easy it is. So I have a 970 here with two drives with some files on and I'm going to show you how to create the sound report from Pixnet but I could easily, just as easily do it from the actual front panel of the deck itself. So first of all, from Pixnet, come to your file storage tab in Pixnet. And you'll see a tab here at the top called Sound Report, and click on that. And this is where you can uh, this is where you can configure the headers that are going to appear at the top of your Sound Report. So, enter the various header information. You can see there's many fields available. Once you've done that, go to your Clips menu. Now this shows you all the files that are residing on the various drives on your deck, and you'll see a little button here saying Create Sound Reports. Press that. And what that does is it tells the deck to create CSV files on both on any drive that is connected to the deck. And you can see we've a message comes up saying success. That's all cool. So at the moment those files exist on the drives on the 970 or, or whatever deck you're using. So to transfer those to your computer, simply click on one of the CSVs, whichever drive you want to transfer from. Click on that. And you can see in Chrome, it downloads that by default to the, to the download folder on the computer. You can actually customize Chrome to have it download wherever you like. And now you can see that the CSV file is, has been transferred. Now I can just double click on that and it'll open in whatever application you use for opening spreadsheets. And as you can see, this is numbers in Mac, but it would open in Excel or any other spreadsheet application. So let me show you how to create a sound report in CSV format onto the drives of the PIX deck. So first of all, you go to your file storage menu, select that, and scroll down to your sound report info menu. And here you can fill in the various header information that will appear at the top of the sound report. And there's many fields, as you can see, producer, director, date, various information about the session. Once you've done that, just come back to your main screen and simply press the shortcut audio plus files and it will automatically create the CSV sound reports for the current folder on any connected drive. Oh.